Jake, let's talk a little bit about Eric Berry, a guy that's still out there, veteran presence by all accounts, just a great guy to have in the locker room. Do you think the Browns are looking at potentially bringing, them, bringing him in? And, and should they be? Yeah, I think with Steve Wilkes' 4 2 5 defense, they're going to play with a lot of safety. So it doesn't hurt to bring in somebody on a short deal that could matter to this secondary veteran leadership presence wise. I know Eric Berry has a history with injuries. I understand that. But Morgan Burnett and Eric Murray were let go by teams that are hurting in the secondary. So having those guys be the biggest players you're relying on just seems like an unnecessary risk if you could bring in Barry on a cheap deal. Obviously, a good football player when he's healthy overcame Hodgkin's lymphoma. is just a great story and a passionate person's connected to Dorsey through Kansas City. It just would make some sense. I know Gil Brand had predicted Barry might end up with the Browns as he was looking at the remaining free agents. I just think it might make some sense for both situations. The Browns want to have as much talent as they can, and they really don't want to have to rely on fourth-round pick Shelter Redwine too early in this situation. Jermaine Whitehead's another player that's sort of floating in between that linebacker safety hybrid rule. But Eric Berry's a good player, and if the Browns have a small window here, two years or so, where they can really capitalize on some of these rookie deals, a guy like Eric Berry makes a ton of sense.